The cave was curtained off by a dusty piece of fur. Weren't there any children here to keep everything clean? I guess not. Can we go here? Lily would have liked to look around, but she didn't want to risk... again? Ah! My eye! Oh! Stop it! How about again? Ah! My eye was... Again. Ah! My eye! Oh! Stop it! Or not, I guess. Uh, wait. Maybe we can use this on something. What, what can we actually do here? Uh, what if we do this? Ow! It, my eye was... We can... We can... Okay, we can interact with that, so maybe... Oh, it's burning! Just wait! When I find whoever's flinging all that dirt around, they're in for a nasty surprise! Uh -huh. Mother Superior closed her tearing eye. Lily could move unobserved for now. For now. Let's go. Lily had enough ribs. Oh. They were easy to count. Yeah. But Mother Superior had forbidden it because it ruined her appetite. Uh, uh Harvey Snowman? Oh, so I guess that makes sense. Lily could hardly believe her eyes. A real cylinder. Right okay. on top of the head of the talking snowman. <laughs> Alright. I, I guess... We'll talk to him. Um... The fireplace is closed. Good children don't play with fire. And you're a good child, aren't you? Uh-huh. You see? There's no reason why well-behaved girls like you should have anything to do with burning objects. But... But, 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 but. Not one. Got it? Lily wasn't convinced. Garrett had said she should use the fire to make light. That seemed to be a good reason to her. But how was she ever going to convince the demon of this? I could beat him up. Lily didn't want to seem picky, but that this was hardly the right place for a snowman. <laughs> hmm. Hey, hands off. I need that cylinder. No, I want You'd it. You'd understand if you stood around all day in the... Lily would lose this staring. Okay, that's another of her eyes. I didn't see this before. After dealing with the curtain, Mother Superior had apparently taken her contact lenses out. Oh. Strange. In the real world, Mother Superior wore glasses. But in the real world, Mother Superior wasn't 50 feet tall either. So it was probably fine. <laughs> Alright, sure. We'll just go ahead with that. Uh, so let's see. I'm putting it here just because. Oh. My goodness, what's that? What's that strange smell? You are on fire, it sir. Smell like carrots, that's for sure. That's. That's. Fire! Oh, I'm burning! Take off my head! Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, I will. I will certainly Lily wasn't quite sure. She wasn't actually allowed to play with fire. Now do something, Lily. Take off my hat. Take it off. Thanks, Lily. You saved me. Yeah. Now you see the damage that fire can do. It's best not to touch it. <laughs> Lily was a little contrite. Apparently, the snowman hadn't learned anything. Do I have it in my inventory? I do. What's happening now? Hey, stop, no, 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 <laughs> no. 
Lily had put out the fire, just like the snowman had told her to. Hopefully, he now realized that there were quite appropriate situations where one could play with fire. That's his theme from the first game. Congratulations! Lily has acquired a new skill. She can now get around the ban on playing with fire. All she has to do is cancel it in her new Don'ts menu by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Keep this option in mind. Throughout the game, Lily will learn to bypass many other restraints using this technique. But keep in mind that only one ban can be revoked at a time. Huh, okay. Okay. So I can make fire now. Whereas I could not before. Okay, cool. Uh, that makes sense. Alright, so... With this new ability game... What? Hello, Lily. You're not... I'm cold. You know... Hmm. Something weird was... Oh, that's how. Okay, I see how this is. Now I can. Lily could finally put her hand in fires again, as much as she wanted. Oh. Which still didn't mean it was a good idea. <laughs> Alright, over here. With the help of the torch, Lily could finally inspect the mysterious bracket. What a surprise! <laughs> it was a torch bracket. But wow. there was still no trace of the promised secret yes, there passage. Is. It's right there. there had to be a secret passage there somewhere. Uh, okay. Huh. Do I just poke at it? Do I just, you know, poke at it a lot? Maybe? Uh. It was true! A ah, secret okay. passage! There we go. Garrett was right once again. Ah. Lily, you did it! Perfect! I think you're finally ready to know the truth. Well, where should I start? Um... Who are you? Maybe I should introduce myself first. My full name is Chief Deputy Garrett Gordon Gardengore. <laughs> I'm an undercover investigator for the juvenile department. I took a position in the convent as a cover to observe Mother Superior. My assignment is to uncover evidence proving her educational methods violate youth protection laws. But Dr. Marcel is an even bigger fish to fry. Compared to him, Mother Superior is a saint. Lily could hardly believe what she was hearing. But now it all made sense. The secret room. The listening devices and the strained voices she <laughs> kept hearing at night. I don't know about that part. It was all coming together to form a coherent overall picture. Hypnosis. Ah, ah, ah. Before you ask me any questions, let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's devilish invention. He apparently uses this stuffed rabbit to force his will on you. If we want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside you. You can also take on the other behavior blocks, just like you did the one stopping you from playing with fire. But it means you'll have to put yourself back in a trance. The first challenge will be leaving the school grounds. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of the behavior block, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again Fight the block while you're in a trance. We have to tackle the problem at its source. Okay, makes sense. Duh. Let me finish. As I said, Dr. Marcel is a much bigger fish. The police has been after him for a while. He's suspected of using illegal therapy methods that rob children of their childhood. And the hypnosis he subjected you to confirms this suspicion. 
Oh. Is she actually part of the police? Call, call the police? Ha! Lily, I am the police. I can help you and get you to safety. We just have to get off this school ground somehow. I think the best way is to follow in your friend Edna's footsteps. But first, I want to answer any questions you have. So? No questions? Uh -uh. How disappointing. Oh well, okay. Let's go to the tree swing. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. Hey, Garrett, do you know I killed people? It was quite a lot of people that I killed. I mean, I killed a lot of She'd people. look at the map later. She hadn't expected that this decision would have unpleasant consequences. Okay, good. Actually, the ball of wool should have stayed in the treasure chest for all, but Lily was running out of options. I don't know entirely what that was for, what this is for, but okay, sure. Oh, follow Edna. All right. Hello, Lily. You're not trying to leave the school grounds, are you? You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it, well, and you do know... You must not contradict adults. It's possible to have lots of fun without defying the rules set by adults. We could sort your marbles according to colors. Or come up with a counting rhyme for folding laundry. No matter how tempting the funny rabbit suggestions were, Lily had to get through the fence and find Edna. Hmm. Okay, so I think we have to go back to... Uh... There wasn't anything else for Lily to do at oh, the convent. Really? She wanted to follow Edna through the fence. But I can't. Oh! Do we get to do the thing here? We don't have to go all the way you back. Must not. It wasn't if there are so many fun things like or There was that but on the one hand, Lily was happy. On the other hand, uh... and Lily didn't see any strings she needed. Oh, I see. What do you have there? Can I see it? Uh-huh. A ball of wool! Yippee! But that's... that's... How exactly... Ooh, 